What's up party people? It's Dan, your bass for guitar superstar. Today we're taking a look at this guy right here finally. I know you guys have seen this guitar on my Instagram and various other places. Maybe possibly a video or two on the channel, but I haven't done a deep dive yet. This is the Vintage The Brand V100AW for Arctic White. So let's talk about the specs. And since we are a highly professional operation here, we pull up our cell phone to talk through specs. These are uh, mahogany bodies, etc. Vintage tulip machine heads, one piece mahogany neck. It says it has a soft C profile, but I don't know about that because it feels pretty thick. It's not like Louisville slugger thick, but it does have some nice girth to it. Two volume, two tone knobs, gold hardware on this guy that looks absolutely gorgeous. I left the pick guard on. I've seen a few pictures of these with the pick guard off, and it looks just amazing. Uh, you have binding on these, and the frets actually go above the binding on this one, which I really like. I think it gives them a nice touch. I don't know if you guys could see that, but the binding looks kind of this beautiful ivory color. Maybe like a Roman or Olympic white, however you want to say it. For uh, pickups, we have the Wilkinson MWVC double coils. And those sound really good. I think you guys will see that. Also, if you want some more uh, perspective in how this guitar sounds, go watch Ferritone Studios' preview of the same guitar. He does a really wonderful job with it as well. I'll post a link in the description to where you can go watch his. He does a lot of vintage stuff and does a great job with it, and I wanted to make sure I pointed that out to you. Anyway, I got this guitar used from the Guitar Farm in New London, Iowa, which is one of my favorite guitar shops. He is a vintage dealer, so it wasn't quite set up how good I've seen him out of the box. I think the prior owner liked his action a bit high, but then Greg did set it for me back to how I normally like it, so it's very, very playable. But anyway, let's go ahead and get this guy plugged in, and we'll give you some tones with it. Keep in mind, as always, that I'm going to be playing chords in random spots on the fretboard that may or may not be coherent with each other or in the same key. Also keep in mind that I will have the anvil compressor from Siren Pedals on in the background so that the tones don't sound like a giant wall of gobbledygook on your end when I go to edit. So anyway, give me just a second to get this guy plugged in and hooked up. We'll bring you guys back, show you how it sounds. All right, party people, we're back. We have the Vintage V100 AW hooked up here and tuned up and ready to go. Let me give you some clean tones here on just the neck pickup, and then we'll we'll get started. Let's go with some dirt here. We're going to use a Voltan drive from Calavera FX. both pickups together let's go back to clean actually let's just go through i'm going to do all of them clean first and then we'll go back and do the other two configurations the middle and bridge position with dirt so let's do this on clean we're in the middle position right now to the bridge position. All right, now 
let's try those with a bit of gain, shall we? This is uh, some subtle overdrive from Voltan, or uh, the Voltan drive from Calavera Effects. Wow, if I could talk, it would be fantastic. <laughs> Try the bridge position. try this with some uh, high distortion just to give you guys very high distortion so we're going to turn on the dagger from audio electronic experiments <laughs> a pretty good idea what this sounds like let's do one more thing though i'm going to switch back to the neck position and we're going to use the orange crush rt35 which is the amp i have plugged in right now and turn that to the dirty channel and let you guys see what it sounds like with that and we want to turn the volume down so it doesn't destroy yours or my eardrums get the idea give me a second to get unplugged and then i will bring you guys back give them my final thoughts all right party this. people we're back that was the vintage v100 aw 
for Arctic White. Again, these are Les Paul style guitars, pretty obvious by the body style. Let me know in the comments what you think of these. I own two of these, actually three technically, two of them that I play, one that I'm keeping mint for various reasons. I absolutely love this guitar. Uh, those of you that know me know I'm a brand ambassador for vintage. I do get stuff at a little bit of a discount because of that, so I do need to disclose that. But I love these guitars. I've wanted a white Les Paul style guitar for a long time, and this fills that niche for me. But anyway, go check out Vintage's website. I will post a link to both their British and their American website, as well as their Instagram and other social media you can find them on. Uh, there are various dealers throughout the United States that sell these. And they're great guitars. Now, do make sure, too, if you're reading on, like, Facebook forums and stuff, that you take negative reviews of these with a grain of salt. A lot of times when I've seen negative reviews of these, it's been of very, very old models before they started working with Trev Wilkinson on hardware and pickup stuff. Or people buying it from shops like over in Europe and the UK that don't take the time to set up their guitars out of the box. Not every one of them do. Um, I feel like shops need to have a gentleman's agreement going where, or just for the sake of good business practice, taking the time to set up guitars that come out of the box. But I get it if you're understaffed, you can't do that. So if you have had a bad experience with these guys in the past, or have played a guitar that was a little wonky, please give them another shot in some capacity. These are hands down the best guitars at this price point on the market, in my opinion, 100%. I would put this up against any Epiphone or any Gibson under three grand any day. And I think it, for playability, at least for me, it blows those out of the water, but I'm just an average guitarist. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. If you found this content valuable or it made you feel better about your playing or you think I'm funny, either funny looking or funny sounding or whatever, hopefully you were entertained by this in some way. As always, thank you so much for watching and have fun playing.